Well, Monica, Littleton Town Manager Jim Gleason's last day was Friday. His late son, who died in 2016 after a battle with cancer, was gay. He says he's resigning after a town select board member criticized inclusive art in the town and called homosexuality, quote, an abomination. We probably couldn't be further apart on the political spectrum, <laughs> but we've had a fantastic working relationship, and I'm never going to forget that. And all of you collectively, it's been an honor. An emotional exit from the now former Littleton Town Manager Jim Gleason. He resigned last week after accusing a select board member and state senator, Carrie Gendro, of creating a toxic work environment. Gendro has criticized small murals that were funded by a diversity, equity and inclusion grant, celebrating people living with pride in the LGBTQ plus community. Last year, she called homosexuality, quote, an abomination. All of this ultimately leading to Gleason's goodbye. Carrie, it's not ended the way maybe we wanted, but I'm not ever going to forget that you supported me strongly in April of 2021. Some in the town backing Gendro, others call it a disgrace. A seemingly very innocuous murals to me. She read into them other things that were um, sort of of the occult don't know what to make of it. I certainly don't see it. People in Littleton sharing their gratitude for Gleason. He truly cares about this place um, and the people in it. With Gleason's parting message to keep moving forward. Keep up the fight. You've got a beautiful town. Now, Gleason says he believes his son would be proud for standing up, not just for him, but everybody in the LGBTQIA plus community. Gendro didn't answer directly when she was asked for a comment, but told the Associated Press, quote, there's a lot of undertones that need to get corrected. In the studio, Marissa Tancino, WMUR News 9.